Hey guys, Dylan here, and throughout this week I'll be reviewing the Affinity apps on iPad. So, let's get started with the oldest of the three apps, Affinity Designer. Just like Adobe Illustrator, it's a vector program used to make graphic designs. However, unlike Adobe Illustrator, it doesn't have an animation app for these vector graphics to be transferred to. Please, Serif Labs, give us something equivalent to Adobe Animate so we can use our Affinity Designer apps for more animation stuff. Anyway, back to the review. As a vector program, the app specializes in vector graphics. In the Steven Silver book, The Silver Way, which I reviewed last year, it said that character designs are cleaned up in Adobe Illustrator. With that said, using Affinity Designer for character design cleanup should be a cheaper alternative if you're tired of paying monthly for Adobe software. I will say though, using the fill tool for vector graphics is a bigger pain in the neck than raster graphics. I have to make sure the lines are completely closed in order for it to work. I don't know how Kiwan Donyagard managed to make filling vector graphics less tedious. Despite that, it's still pretty good for getting clean character designs for production. There are a lot of effects that can be used for the drawings. One of them is an outline tool, which creates an outline of the drawing. You ever seen the Fairly Odd Parents or the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy? Well, they use this faux thick line style, which is basically thin line style, but with an outline effect added to it. I'll go over the difference in a future video. Someone might find that tutorial useful. One of the added benefits of vector graphics is that you can change the color without having to use the fill tool. This allows you to make small adjustments to the color of your design without having to affect the whole thing. And on top of that, you can adjust the lines as needed. So you don't have to redo a line. You can adjust its placement, the pressure sensitivity, and even the color of it. Well, with Affinity Designer out of the way, check back in for part 2 where I review the middle child of the Affinity apps, Affinity Photo.